Good morning. I am Dr. Najibin Fatima, uh, taking class of uh, Control Lab. Uh, the aim of this practical is to plot root locus, Bode plot, and Nyquist plot, and also to use the LTIV. So let us we start. First of all, we write the transfer function uh, of a system. Let it be A equal to EF is the command used for the writing of the transfer function within parenthesis uh, the numerator and denominator polynomial coefficients will be writing so i'm writing here within a square bracket the this is the coefficient of uh, numerator polynomial then write the coefficient of denominator polynomial now you can see this is the Transfer function s plus 2 upon s square plus 2 s plus 10. So I want to draw the root locus of this system. So the command is r locus within parenthesis, write the variable of the transfer function. This is a here. So I'm writing a here. Enter. So you can see the diagram. Yeah. Now this is the diagram, this is showing the root locus of the this system, of the given system. Uh, in the root locus, uh, see here, you can see here that there is one zero and two poles are present here. So in the diagram also you can see one zero and two poles are present. So see here, this is, this is the zero and two poles are present and root locus shows that if the locus of the poles uh, are present on the left hand side of the s point and the system will be stable so this root locus is showing the system is stable now next i want to plot the bode plot so the command is bode within parentheses write the variable of the transfer function so this is this command is going to plot the bode figure of the transfer function of the given transfer function so you can see this is the magnitude plot of the bode and phase plot of the bode with the help of bode plot we can calculate whether the system is stable or not and we can also calculate gain margin and phase margin but here in this uh, practical we are learning how to plot the bode diagram so you can see here uh, the command is only bode bode within parenthesis write the variable of the transfer function. So this command is giving you the Bode plot. So see, this is the Bode plot. So you can see just by writing only a small command, it is possible to plot the Bode diagram. Now next one is Nyquist plot. So the command is Nyquist. Within parenthesis, write the variable of the transfer function. Now this is going to draw the Nyquist plot. This is not clear. So I'm writing and writing in one one more time. Yeah, this is the Nyquist plot. So just by writing the Nyquist and within parentheses writing the variable of the transfer function, you can see the Nyquist diagram is available. And with the help of this Nyquist diagram, it is possible to find out the uh, stability of the system. Next is, I want to discuss about the LTI view. LTI is a linear time invariant view. With the help of this command, it is possible to draw the number of graphs simultaneously. So LTI view within parentheses, write the variable of the transfer function. So, so here you can see the LTI view has opened. Go to the edit, click on the plot configuration. See, so you can see different uh, graph number of graphs are, are available to plot. So, I am selecting this one here. From this, uh, I can plot six graphs simultaneously. So, these six options are activated now. 
तो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज स्टेप नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन आई एम सेलेक्टिंग इज इम्पल्स थर्ड वन आई एम सेलेक्टिंग बोडे प्लॉट नेक्स्ट लेट इट बी नाइक्विज प्लॉट configurations are not coming here so again i am writing ltiv within parentheses a variable of the transfer function so see again going on added going on the plot configurations and selecting six options so first one is a step in first next option i want to select bode plot next option i want to select nyquist next one nicole's plot and last one let it be pol zero map so click on apply and okay now you can see here yes, six graphs are available simultaneously first one is a step response second is impulse response next is bode diagram then nyquist diagram then nicole's and pol zero map these maps we have selected to draw so with the help of lti view it is possible to show six at least six graphs at a time so with the help of this step analysis uh, we can see the oscillations are going to come out and here also the impulse impulse response uh, if the input uh, is impulse to the transfer function to the control system then the oscillations are going to come out the, here it is showing the Magnitude and phase graph of the Bode diagram. Here it is showing the Nyquist diagram, the pole chart, and pole zero. This is one pole and two. Sorry, this is one zero and this is two. Two poles are present here. You can see the location of the pole also. So see here it is written minus one plus p i, and damping is point three one six. Overshoot is also calculated here thirty five point one percent, and frequency is also calculated. Here also, so you can see the all the all these things: the location of the pole, damping, uh, overshoot, and frequency. So, with the help of these, with the help of these diagrams, it is possible to do the uh, easy calculation. Now, this completes this lecture. Thank you.